okay so remember one thing so consider mine is actually a dev environment consider this is actually a test environment so in the test environment don't make any changes always remember we should we should always make changes on only on the dev environment in the test environment you should not create client scripts in the test environment you should not create ui policies so whatever the ui policies that you, you are creating should be created in the dev environment once that is created you have to move that don't try to make changes on the test environment suppose if i have made change on the test environment here i have made change on the ui page on the test environment okay so this is actually consider this is my instance right this is my instance right so not not my instance so consider i have actually made changes on this particular environment so i am going to ui pages so i am making changes change on this particular environment so whatever the changes that you are making that should be done only in the dev environment test environment you should not make any change whatever you have done in the dev environment you have to move that via update set to the test environment manually you should not make any changes on the test environment the changes should come through the update set okay accidentally you made change on the test environment okay so this time i am creating another update set here version 2 okay <clears throat> so i have to make this as my current update set every time you have to make sure you have to make that as current update set if you have if you have to capture the development that is actually an important one okay so ui pages here i am also making some change here okay these are captured in this update set okay i have to complete this one so once i complete this one i have to export the xml so once i export the xml i have to retrieve the retrieve the completed update sets okay so first it will be in loaded state so you have to preview it so so this point is this point you guys have to understand clearly so while previewing this time it will actually show you some errors see it is not it is not actually smooth preview here you are you are actually see two collisions see you are actually you have seen two errors see find local one is newer than this one so as i told you you should not make any manual change on the test environment right if you make any change on the uh, if you make any change in the test environment so these kind of errors you will get these kind of errors you will get so obviously when you get these kind of errors right what are the actions available actions so here you have to remember only two things accept remote update skip remote update accept remote update means whatever is coming from the dev environment whatever that update that is actually coming from dev environment that should come as that should come into test environment that then that means accept remote update 
So this particular instance update should go to this particular instance means you will use accept remote update. Skip remote update means whatever the changes that you have made manually in the test environment, right? That should be as it is means you have to skip remote update. So you will be taking these two actions when you get preview errors. These are important one. So you can compare, compare with local. So remote update set, remote update and local update, you can compare. So let us try to compare. So if you compare, see here, it is actually highlighting here. It is highlighting here. So this name is actually the conflict. When you compare with the local, local means this particular system update, remote update means my instance update. It is comparing. So likewise, you can actually compare the updates. Okay, show local updates. Local record means this in this in this particular instance, what is the record that you have made change? Okay. So local update means what, what changes you have made that is actually comes under update. So you don't use these three actions. These are actually for comparing purpose. These are the actual actions that you have to take here. Accept remote update, skip remote update. Accept remote update, skip remote update. So what I am doing, I have to move my changes to test environment, right? I am actually using accept remote update here. I have just clicked on accept remote update. So here you have actually one more error. This one also I am using accept remote update. So now all the errors are gone. All the problems have been addressed. Click update set, click commit update set below to continue. So here you have to click on commit update set. So you have to take care of the preview errors as well, guys. So usually preview errors will, will come if you are making any changes on the test environment. If you forget, if you for, if you have forget to if you have forgot to capture some changes. So during that time, you will get preview errors. When you get the preview error, you will have to take two actions, either accept remote update or skip remote update. So this point is clear, right? Everyone? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So this is fine. 